Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to show you my new 150 inch projector, which is ridiculous and awesome at the same time. So this is the Nebula Cosmos Max, which is a 4K HDR projector from Anchor. It's got Android TV built in, internal speakers, and supports HDMI and USB. And this is the ultimate home movie experience for me now, and I really want to show it off to you. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing, then I'm going to show you just how good this is for movies and streaming and even some gaming. Then I'll run through the specs and I'll demo these speakers out, and there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip ahead. Also, this has to be the nicest looking projector that's out there. So if you've seen some of my other videos recently, you'll know that I've had some pretty big TVs, including an 86-inch nanocell and a 77-inch OLED, and they look tiny compared to this. This literally fills my entire wall. Now the first thing you'll notice about the Cosmos Max is the design of it. It's not like any other projector that I've seen. It actually looks pretty nice. So if you wanted a sleek and minimal looking projector, this is definitely it. None of those office looking projectors that we're used to see. Now the bulb here, this is an LED bulb, so this is rated at 1,500 lumens, and that's pretty bright. Plus it does support 4K HDR, so the quality is awesome. Now the mesh design that you can see here around the outside, this is actually what hides the internal speaker, so I will do a demo on that a little bit later. Then around the back, we've got the power button and some branding and the ports. So we've got the power port, we've got two HDMIs, one of which supports ARC, two USB ports along with an optical out. So plenty here to either plug in a console or a USB drive with some movies on, or if you don't want to use the internal speakers, you can use a soundbar or an AVR. The top, although this looks like a black mirror, if you look at it, if I just peel this off here, it actually glows when it's powered on. So it actually shows a pulsing star design with the Nebula logo on the top. Now you can actually turn this off in the settings if you don't like it, but I do, I like this a lot. Now, if we flip this over on the bottom, we've actually got some rubber feet, so it's obviously not going to slide off your unit, for example. And then we've got some threaded holes. So if you want to attach this to a tripod or a bracket, you can do that quite easily. But I think on the whole, this design is really, really nice. So the Cosmos Max weighs three kilograms, so it's quite heavy. So you'll definitely want a sturdy tripod or bracket to hold this. Now, I'm just using my camera tripod here. This is a Manfrotto. Now, what's great about putting it on a tripod is you can actually move it around and angle it any way you like. You're not limited by a table or a shelf. Right, let's get this set up, but before I turn it on, I actually need to very quickly rearrange my entire room. So I only have one wall that's got nothing on it at all, because the other walls I've got either my sofa or my TV or a window. So I need to flip the sofa around, and then we can get this set up and switch it on. Wow, this looks absolutely awesome. This, this is like having my own cinema screen at home. I was not expecting the projector to be quite as good as this. I mean, sure, you cannot compare it to an OLED or any other TV, but for a projector... And that true cinema experience, this is it. This looks absolutely awesome. So the picture quality, the black levels, the HDR, is, this is decent. I'm really, really amazed with just how good this looks. And I'm just shining this on my wall, so I've not even installed a proper screen, which I know a lot of people will do that if you've got a home theatre. I imagine it would look even better if I had a proper setup. So this is set to 150 inches diagonally. Now that's nearly double my current 77 inch TV that I've got. In fact, this is actually like having four of my TVs side by side and on top of each other. So that's absolutely massive. Now, although this is set to 150 inches at the moment, I've actually got that maxed out. You can actually adjust the size really, really easily. So you can either physically move the projector closer to your wall to obviously make it smaller, or you can actually scale the image down with a digital zoom. So here, for example, I'm actually zooming in and out on the projector just using the remote control. It's really easy to do. But today we are maxing this out. So here's the throw ratio. So depending on how big your room is and how big you want to go, this is how far you would actually need the projector to be away from your wall and the size that you'll get on the screen. I've literally watched three movies on this over the last week. And once the lights are off and the blinds are closed, this is the movie experience that I actually wanted. So it's bright enough to enjoy, but not too bright that it's going to blind you. So it comes with Android TV 9.0 and the Google App Store built in. And that means you can literally watch anything you want, whether that's Apple TV, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. This is the first time that I've actually used an Android TV. But this is what the home screen looks like. It's really, really nice. I've actually installed a few apps already, as you can see here. And what's great here is as I've subscribed to all of these services already, I can literally watch anything that I want. Movies, TV shows, even sports. So is anyone watching the Euro 2020 this year? Let me know your predictions in the comments. But there are more than 5,000 apps on Android TV now. This means there's no need to plug anything else in to use this projector. But if you were somewhere with no internet, you could actually just plug a hard drive in and watch your movies. Obviously, plug it in via the USB port on the back and you're good to go. Internally, it's got its own 12 gigabytes of storage, so plenty for the apps that you need to install. It's also got Google Assistant built in, so you can use the remote to ask for anything you want to watch. 
As for the picture quality itself, it's actually really, really good. So it's a 4K projector with HDR10 and HLG. Everything I've watched on this looks vivid and vibrant. Colors are bright, while blacks are pretty dark. Now, everything I've watched on it has looked really, really good. Another cool feature with the Cosmos Max is it's actually got an autofocus setting. So no more manually rotating that dial on the front of the projector, hoping to get it focused. You just hit one single button on the remote and it will do it all for you. Just instant image clarity. And just like with a TV, there are picture settings on this as well. So I've actually swapped between the standard and the movie presets. And I like the movie one because it adds a kind of a bit of a warmer tone. But you can tweak these easily enough. So watching this at night is definitely the best option. As like with any projector, it's not going to do great during the day as it's struggling to fight against natural light. But here's what it looks like during the day anyway. So what I've got here is I've got my blind slightly open. There's no direct sunlight on it, but it gives you an idea there of what this would look like. So it's still watchable, but at night it's a whole different experience. It really is like being at the cinema. I wasn't even going to try gaming on this, but seeing as I spend a few hours a night playing on my PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, I thought I had to at least give this a go, see what it looked like. So I plugged in the PlayStation 5 and I tried out a few different games. And do you know what? They look awesome. There's no surprise there, but the input lag is incredible. I mean, for games that don't require an instant response, it's not really an issue. So slow games like, say, Astro Bot or maybe even Spider-Man Miles Morales. But once I try games like WRC9 or Cold War, it was impossible to play. So I would not recommend this projector for gaming on, but then that's not really the reason you'd buy this. Stick to movies and TV shows. So I've set the projector up pretty straight to the wall, and obviously with the tripod you can have it any height you wish. But if for any reason you couldn't choose the height, maybe it was too high, too low, or too far left and right, you can actually adjust the keystone in the settings. So you can adjust it vertically or horizontally here, or, which is what I did, if you go into the manual settings, you can actually adjust each corner of the screen to get it perfectly aligned. So this is the remote control that it comes with. It's actually pretty minimal looking. So you've got the power button, you've got the autofocus button in the middle, and then you've got the Google Assistant button next to that. The navigation and the OK buttons are in the middle here. You've got the back button, the home, and the settings button, followed by the volume buttons underneath. You can also download and use the Nebula's own app, and that will allow you to control the projector off your phone. Looking at the packaging for this, so it states it's the first 4K home cinema projector with 3D audio. It's got Chromecast built in for casting off your device. It's got Android TV, which we've already covered, autofocus, digital zoom, and Bluetooth. So I've already mentioned that the bulb is an LED, but it's actually got a life cycle of 30,000 hours, and that's massive. So you could actually watch this projector for 10 hours every single day, and it would last you about 8 years. You can actually mount the projector either at the front, the rear, or ceiling mount, and you can change this in the settings as well. So if you're using a projector at home, there's a good chance you're probably using it with a soundbar or an AVR with speakers like I do. But you don't need to because this projector actually has four internal speakers and it provides a 360 degree cinema sound. Now I wasn't expecting much from these, I'll be honest, but I've only used these speakers while watching all the films from this projector. They are actually as good as a soundbar. Plus, if you take this outside or away from home, you don't need to take any speakers with you, so there's no need to pair it with a Bluetooth device. But take a listen to this. In terms of the fan noise of this projector, it's actually really, really quiet. I mean, once the movie is on, you're not going to hear it anyway, but if you've got the projector right next to you, you might be interested with just how loud this could be. So take a listen to this. As far as the packaging goes, this is pretty nice, and this is everything that we get inside the box. So there's the Cosmos Max, the projector itself. Then under this, we've got the power cable and the power pack the minimal looking remote control, along with some batteries, and a quick start guide to get set up. And that's everything that we need. Now you might be wondering how much this projector costs. Well, with everything that we've gone over today, so it's a 4K HDR, up to 150 inches internal sound, how much do you think this is worth? What would you pay for this? Well, this retails at just under $1,700 or £1,400. So it's not cheap, but considering everything that you get for this, and it is a 4K projector, it's actually not bad. So other than a screen to project onto, which is optional as I've already proven today, you don't need anything else to get this set up. Now I have dropped a link to this in the description if you want to check it out. But they do also sell a cheaper and smaller version of this and it's just called the Cosmos. So if you're not too bothered about the 4K resolution, this one offers a 1080p and it's a 900 lumen image instead, which still features HDR10. This means it will still look vibrant and the brightness is pretty similar and it'd be great for a smaller room if you're not going to max out at 150 inches as this one goes up to 120 inch. 
It also offers HLG, so it will upscale everything that you watch through it, whether it's an old DVD or even live TV. And just like with the Max, the Cosmo has internal speakers providing that 360 degree audio. Now this is a great alternative, although I would still go for the Cosmos Max if you can. So the price of the normal Cosmos is $800 or £800. So you're saving about $900 or £600 and losing that 4K resolution. That's pretty much half the price. Now I have popped a link in the description for this one as well. But again, I think the Cosmos Max is probably the better one to go for. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving this projector. I've watched so many movies on it over the last few weeks or so. And now that I've finally got one, I'm actually going to make a screen in the garden. So in the evenings in the summer, I can take it outside. I obviously don't need anything else. I can just connect to the Wi-Fi. It's got the speakers built in and I can have a movie night outside. And what do you think to it? Have you ever owned or do you already own a projector? And do me a favor, let me know in the comments what movie should I watch on this massive screen next? I definitely need some suggestions. Well, you've just made it to the end of today's video, so thank you for watching. And if you drop a 4K projector in the comments, I will give you a thumbs up as I know you're still here. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next upload. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.